Ladies and gentlemen, the next 72 hours are going to be interesting on every level. Because of the Mars and Saturn conjunction happening on the 4th and 5th, and for me personally, it suggests that I may be having some financial difficulties. So if you want to be my miracle maker lifesaver for the April 2022 Thor News fundraiser, that would be super duper awesome. Super duper thanks to Justin and Astro Fight Club. I'm now $1,405 away from hitting my goal. If you'd like to make a contribution, you know how to do it. You are really smart. Okay, let's get to the news. Did you see that? That was a fireball that exploded over Popo the volcano in Mexico. Let me repeat that again in case I didn't say it clearly. That was a fireball meteor, which may have become a meteorite, um, that exploded over Popocatépetl, the volcano in Mexico. And man, you see a lot of interesting things in these cameras, whether it be portal smoke rings or unidentified flying objects or fireballs exploding over a volcano, bam. Definitely something to look out for. And if you look at these clouds, maybe it's just me, but they kind of remind me of those Hubble cloud smokestack things. You know what I'm talking about? Do you see the resemblance? See what I'm saying? All right, excellent. Now, you know how the sun has been going crazy with solar flares, coronal mass ejections, um, and sunspots, so much so that the March values for sunspot number doubled and then went over NASA and NOAA's predicted sunspot cycle values. They predicted 34.1 in March, but it came in at 78.5. And well, if you guessed we have another one, well, you are a super duper absolute great guesser. We have another one. We're talking about a Radio 1 blackout in progress from the current M. 1.17 solar flare right now there are one two three four five six sunspots on the sun with a possible seventh one to grow but i would guess this came from 2975 which has been just firing off um solar flares like a machine gun this is just activity over the last two days we've had a strong m class that almost got to x class we had an x class flare like three or four days ago we've had multiple c classes and then now we've had two M classes today, which is April 2nd, 2022. Yeah, this is definitely, absolutely, without a doubt, a crazy time in history. We are in the atomic age, and now the digital age, and now the solar cycle 25 age. Here, we are watching NASA's Stereo Ahead HI. Um, no, this Core 2 camera. What it is, is this is the sun in the middle, the white circle. It's been blocked out by the black occulting disc. And then down here, we have the little sun baby, which is what I nicknamed. Ooh, look at that one. That was on the 11th. So I, I nicknamed this weird blob of light that pulses and sits here. And then down over here, we have the cat hair of doom, or um, I think it's, it's a spaceship or it's a hot pixel. At one point in time, they tried to tell us that it, it, it's actually just a, a hair that's on the lens, but over the last eight or nine years here at Thor News, we've watched this thing interact with the plasma and the solar flares and the kernel mass ejections. So I'm not sure that, uh, you know, that it's just hair on a lens. So yeah, these are crazy days. The sun has been absolutely, without a doubt, waking up, and which is technically a good sign because civilizations tend to collapse during solar minimums and then they rise again during solar maximum so having a strong solar cycle 25 is technically really good news and yeah you can see that through this camera there has been a lot of action happening and so we will continue to monitor it and we'll take a look at the stereo head HI1 camera, and then this will be Saturn over here. All right, that's Saturn. It's moving away from the galactic center. Right there, we get some cosmic ray sunbeams that flips the camera around. Those are always interesting. Boom, there's the massive coronal mass ejection solar flare on the 11th. 
Oh, I guess that's not Saturn. This was another planet that I do not know the name of right now. It's probably Earth, I would guess. All right, we're all learning together. How are you doing today? You can see there was another coronal mass ejection, and, and there was the one that just happened in the last today. I guess I would guess that was the M2. Who knows? Now let's move to the NASA Ahead HI2. Remember, it was in stereo, and so they had two cameras, like a stereo. You know how the stereo has two speakers, left, right? Well, the uh, behind camera broke a couple years ago, and they've been like, should we replace it? Nah, it's not that big a deal to have 360 monitoring of our sun, I guess. Also, we've got a lot of interesting planetary energy happening with Saturn and Mars about to line up in the sky from Earth's perspective. Um, on the 4th, although Earth is over here, we're looking at it from the SDO perspective, or the stereo perspective. And then they will be hooking up. Mars and Venus just hooked up, and Venus just came out of besiegement. And then over here is Earth. Now that you've got it all, let's take a look at the camera. What I love about this camera is you can find anything you want into it. Do you want a Planet X of Doom? It's, it's right there. Do you want a giant monster-looking galactic center? It's right there, even with its own gremlin crab cancer in the middle. Although I do think it's Sagittarius A. Here you have Venus's parachute, which comes out always when Venus comes past this camera. And so, yeah, and then over here you got Mars. And notice as Venus moves more this way, the parachute disappears. And then you get Saturn coming in at the end. See, these are definitely crazy days indeed, my friends. And the solar activity is making everything a little more intenser on every single level. So I would highly recommend stink. Look at that big coronal mass ejection there on the 11th. I would highly recommend everybody stay cool. Do your best to remain calm during this very intense period. It's going to be an intense week, pretty much. That is my guess. But by Easter, or Resurrection Day as I call it, Hopefully things will have calmed down. So buckle in for a wild two weeks. You know what? Everybody's got their theories about the sun. Or some people, I guess, don't have any theories on the sun. They don't think about it that much. That's fine. But I look at the sun as like a super cool, magical protector that gives us love and light often. And so I don't think the sun usually brings us doom. But technically, if it does, we probably deserved it. I'm just saying if like an X-33 flare hits us in the face directly and knocks out all of our power grid uh we were probably acting like total dicks on every level across the globe collectively you know what i'm saying i know that's hard for you to imagine but i always wonder so if we get hit in the modern age with a major massive mega flare right in the face wouldn't that just knock out the power grid of half the globe that got hit direct on wouldn't that leave the other half being like hey yeah we were fine we were turned away from earth or we were turned away from the sun. I guess it's one of those things we'll have to find out if and when it ever happens in our lifetime. But I am a perpetual optimist, and I do think things will eventually improve, whether it be this year, three years from now, or 30 years from now. Eventually we will pull out our head out of our ass, and as an American, I know that Winston Churchill had a saying, Americans always do the right thing after they've exhausted all other options which I think is a very interesting quote. Anyway, so yep, that has been our active flare, and that is the one that just flared moments ago. So I'm here with you, and I'll be here with you today, tomorrow, and probably throughout the entire month. Definitely for multiple reasons I'm not going to list here. We are going to be on Earthquake and Volcano Watch. Someone mentioned the possibility of a tsunami watch for Monday the 4th. And, you know, the way the world is going with the Saturn-Mars conjunction, it rarely brings good things. The last time it happened um, was March 30th, 2020. Do you remember that year, that month? Remember how crazy the world got after that? Um, yeah. So, you know, you'll see war and fighting and what happens when the immovable object runs into or gets run into by the unstoppable force we definitely live in interesting times it's rarely a boring day out there Ooh, did you see that 
That was magnificent. Spectacular. Very interesting. That looked like definitely a coronal mass ejection. Although, because it is facing away for Earth, I don't think it'll hit us, but we'll have to wait for the models to come out to kind of let us know. Watch, here it comes. Are you ready? Bang. All right, I freeze-framed it for you just like magic. Fascinating. Okay, letting you guys know, be prepared, Asteroid Fight Club style. Okay? And if you want to be part of my miracle, uh, you can make a contribution to my mailbox, my PayPal, my Venmo, my Cash App, my Patron, and I promise to bring you Lots of excellent videos all throughout April. And please, I've got $1,405 left to raise. And I would really, really, really like to say thank you to Asteroid Fight Club, Justin, Patricia, Alexis, Lauren, Barbara, Glenda, Arnica, Light Soul, Dan, Marlita, Brian, Ann, Max, Miguel, Susan, and Teresa. Y'all are awesome, and everybody out there has helped Earth stay together in these crazy times. I appreciate y'all. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Definitely be ready for the fourth to be weird. God bless everyone. Stay cool.